Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Um, I wasn't planning on filming anything today, but I just finished watching um, Don't Breathe. If you guys haven't seen it, you should. It's so good, you'll be scarred for life. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm, I might be exaggerating a little bit, but it's so intense. Um, there's maybe dialogue for 20% of the movie, and then it's just like like um, a sequence of, like a non-verbal sequence, does that make sense? Like they don't talk for like 80% of the movie, uh, but it's just, it's very intense. And I was like, I need to get my mind off of that. <laughs> so I decided to do an update and I'm gonna be doing an update on my um, Last Chance Project Pen, which is uh, kind of like a little mini project pen that I wanted to do so that I could work on um, a few lip products before the end of the year to see if I could get them out before starting the new year. So I had picked out eight uh, lip products. I have them here in my little glass jar. And I have finished one, two, three, four. I finished four already. Um, so let me show them to you guys. Um, the very first one I finished was this one from Tarte. It's the Park Avenue Princess in the color Park, Park Avenue Princess. and. That's it rolled up all the way up right there. This was a very I don't even think you're gonna be able to No, I can't get a swatch at all um, This basically went on clear on my lips um, I'm gonna have the intro video linked up below because I didn't mark any of these because since they're deluxe size samples and minis They had very very small amounts. So I'll, go, I'll leave it up here so you guys can watch it if you want to see how much product I had um, they had in them, but this is the first one I finished. Then the next one that I finished was this one from Bite Beauty and it was in the color Flush. And this was kind of like an orangey color. Let me see if this one, yeah, this one has a little bit more, ugh, ugh, it melted. Um, that's the color right there. It was a little bit more orangey, um, but it, it felt like a lip balm. So I would put this on throughout the day. Now that it's winter, I reapply more than I usually do. So um, yeah, I like how it, it did feel very moisturizing, but like I said, um, that's how much product was in here. I don't even know if you guys can see, but yeah, that's that. I hope the dogs don't start barking. Anyway, and then there was a tragedy with this one from Clinique. I posted a picture on Instagram, um, but I was reapplying this and I guess I it was rolled up too much and it broke off do you guys see like it just the, the little bullet broke from the um, container and it happened at work and I work in a hospital and there was no way I was gonna try to sanitize anything so I called this you know RIP and the last one that I finished I actually finished yesterday and it's this mini one from Hourglass in the color child this is one of their um, Extreme Sheen lip glosses. And I even took out the stopper on this one. And then you guys can see with the, with the light, um, there's really not much product left. Um, I scraped as much as I could with a little doe foot applicator. But this one's done, so yay. So those are the four ones, the four products that um, I've been able to get through. And I have, Four more right here. The one that I'm wearing on my lips right now is this one from uh, Bare Mineral Minerals in the color Plumberry Pop, and it's a Pop of Passion. It says Pop of Passion, but I don't know if that's the line or what's happening. But the color is Plumberry Pop. If you guys can't tell, but um, this is how much I have left, and I'm kind of wearing it down, very very slanted, and. That's how much, if you guys, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but that's how much I've worked off of it. Um, so yeah, that's that one. And then one that I'm very close to finishing is this um, Sephora Cream Lip Stain. And this is awesome. I Oh, let me give you guys a swatch of this Bare Minerals one. It's this one right here. Oh, why did I give you a swatch if I'm wearing it? <sighs> Hello. Anyway, let's move on. Swatch for the Sephora Cream Lip Stain is this one right here. That was just one swatch. And this one dries completely, completely matte. 
completely matte and it's zero transfer. I posted a, I did a little thing on Instagram uh, where I'm wearing this color and then I blot with a tissue paper and there's no transfer on the, on the little paper. So this is out of all the ones that I've tried so far, this is the only one that I already put in my loves list on my sephora.com website. <laughs> And I'm going to be buying this color for sure because I love red lipsticks. Um, but I also put like two, like a pinky one and a mauve one. Um, I added them to my loves list. They're $14 and I look forward to buying them in the future. I really, really like them. Then let me just put my sleeve up. Um, this one I've used a couple of times. It's the Stila Stay All Day Vinyl Lip Gloss in the color, doesn't say. But this is, this one's by far my least favorite. Um, I like the color, don't get me wrong, the color's nice, but it's too thick. I thought because of the color, it's this one right here, I thought that I would be able to um, be reapplying it without a mirror, but I, I can't. Um, it's too thick, it's too sticky, and I need, like I need an, a mirror to, to actually reapply it. Oh, and then the, the wand, do you guys see? It's super, super flimsy. Ugh. I think that's another reason why I can't reapply without using a mirror because I think I'm so used to putting a lot of pressure and it ends up bending the, the little wand too much and it's, yeah. <laughs> I'm having technical difficulties with this one, but this is by far my least favorite. Um, I don't like the smell either. Mm. So I'm, I'm hoping, I really hope that I can get through this one before the year ends because I just, don't, I want to get rid of it. And then one that I haven't used at all is this Marc Jacobs lip gloss. There's no, nothing in here. I think this came in a give me some lip kit, I think. Um, but that's how much I have. I had it like laying down like this, so. Um, I think I used it once, maybe once, because there's a bunch of air here. I can't remember, maybe I did use it after all, but I, I honestly can't remember, but yes. There's not much product in here. If you guys can see the little tiny um, container, it's a lot of plastic. Um, the plastic is very thick in the container, that's what I'm trying to say. So yeah, I have that one. So let me give you guys a swatch. This is a pretty, uh, this is also very sticky gloss, but it's a lot sh more sheer than the one from Stila, the one that I just showed you guys right now. And I swatched it right underneath the one from Stila, so right here. This one doesn't have a, a real scent to it. Um, and I haven't played with it much, so I can't tell you if I like it or not. So, uh, but yeah, guys, uh, I have finished four. I am down to four. We're midway through the length of this project. I am hoping to have these finished by December 31st. So this will be my only, my first and only update. Um, so we'll see, I don't know, four weeks-ish, maybe. Ooh, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't seen Don't Breathe, go watch it. And thank you so much for watching my video. I'll see you guys later, bye.